Kristen. We're gonna talk to Kristen. We oh, love her. You're so That's sweet. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah, you got the whole crew. Hi, everybody's here. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Is anybody making your show tonight? What's uh, happening? No. Nope. No, we they were on the plane. We were asking who is at work tonight. Actually, <laughs> who's working? We've got a bunch of new characters on the show, so we're letting them do the hard work. Madeline's walking around the stage, going right. Actually, yeah, is Madeline. Everybody? Madeline is single-handedly she's keeping the show. Yeah. Walking around. Yeah. Like, she's crying on her own. It's... Yeah, she's crying all by herself. No. 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 I feel like we said this in season one, and now I'm saying it again, which is such a great thing. But oh my God, anything can happen on your show. Oh, and it will. They killed off Daniel. Like, what crazy bananas business is that? Yeah. What did you guys think when you heard? I mean, Emily, I would think for you, you heard quite some time ago. Yeah, but yeah, we knew. what was it like? I mean, it's, it's good for the show to get the fans. I mean, really maybe. Happy. I think like I think they're pretty pissed at yeah, us. I mean, really our fans are right angry. Um, no, I mean, I think you know, it was something that was you know. Um, discussed a while back and it was a way to move the story forward and you know we lose people on the show and it's brutal and it's awful because we all love each other and, and we really do get along so I mean it's just it's brutal but but, but it you has know influence like every character's it's trajectory every single everyone character. I'm gonna clarify and I think it's a major loss for the show but also again puts the fans on their toes well, so it it's, it's to a love-hate they, they are not afraid to go in any direction on this show, and man, they are swinging for the rafters for the second half of this season. I mean, so. I think, like, yeah, we were saying it's season four, and it's a show called Revenge, so you can't really do anything by halves. It's got to be, like, all or nothing, and I think we're really kind of doing that, oh, and yeah. we have amazing new characters. And it's not a show about romance. Romance. Uh, yeah, no. not, not really. No. Well, for about five <laughs> minutes, and then it always goes sour. That was your fiance is shooting you in the uterus. I mean, right. that I mean, it's not very romantic. I'm sorry. I just that. Really. Um, having Emily's father in the mix, my God, I think was sort of even bigger and more gut-wrenching than anyone has, had anticipated. You and James did amazing yeah, work there. Yeah. So well done. Do you think we'll see your mom again as well now that he's back? Again, I mean, Jennifer Jason Lee is so amazing. I would love for her to come back, but I, I don't, I don't really know what they have planned in terms of that. I think they've just been wanting to explore this new crazy relationship with the father she thought was dead for all of these years. You know, it's yeah. and there's so, so much to explore there. <laughs> only <laughs> I think it's enough it's a for the moment. Strange thing to yeah. happen, you know, and like everything she's been doing this for. You know, it's like right in front of her all of a Here sudden. It's it's kind of tragic and and sad in a lot of ways. But what are the chances that this coupling is going to happen, or this coupling Gemily is going to happen? Emily or Nemily? The three of us. Emily or Place your bets. Actually, <laughs> maybe it'll be a threesome. Yeah. That's right. I think she can handle that. <laughs> Marco, I left alone. Then. <laughs> and then maybe these two. You know? I mean, come on. That would be that, that's a hot couple. That's right a hot ass. That's a bit of scoop there. So, Revenge is turning into the new big love with a female centric uh, polygamy angle. This has never been done on TV. Very smart. Very that's smart. right. Thank you. Um, but what can you tell us about her love life coming up? Oh, man. Uh, she's always just got so much going on within the love department. But we have a new character, Ben, Ryan Hallisey, and, you know, he sort of swoops in there for a minute. We'll see where that goes. Um, I think, like, right now she's just trying to figure out how to be somewhat of a normal human, and so she's dabbling in different things. But I think we all know at her core, you know, it was always Aiden or Jack, and Aiden's gone. And they're developing so, this, this. No, I don't mean it that way. <laughs> He's here tonight, though. By the way, Aiden's here tonight. He's Did you alive. see him? He's alive. <laughs> He's joined the new ABC show, The Whispers. That's right. you, I think you probably just talked to him. You just I saw did, him. Yeah. and he, I think, is just on an ABC show to try to get back to you. Yeah. I'm, uh, it's just yeah. my, well, we miss it's him. my theory. We but miss I, him. I do think that these two. I mean, there, there's just like no matter what has happened, there's such a deep love and connection there that we actually are starting to explore a little bit more, um, which I think the fans will be really excited about. And I mean, that's very the ultimate. Yes. By the uh, way. Very. I feel like some of them are just waiting for that to happen. My I've Twitter, been waiting four Twitter years for that to happen. <laughs> all right. So who's going to get the craziest tonight? This is probably a rare night that you all get to go out together. So is well, someone going to be hanging from the yeah. chandelier soon? Tell uh, me. I want to be where no, you're no, partying. No, it's going to be Elena. Yeah, no, 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 no. Well, it's 100%. This is okay, yes. So, I guess I've already had a wild <laughs> night. The older end, let's be clear, okay? Thank you so much. And it's not yours because you would be a little weird to put it there. That so. would be a little strange.